This traffic is absolutely miserable. Oh, wonderful. Now I'm totally stuck. Can't you see I'm blocked too? I need to find another route. Where's my map? I need to find another route. Where's my map? I'd better hurry or I'll be late for work. Just in time. Good morning, Sven. Did you see the huge crowds on Zeukhausstrasse? It took a lot of work to get here on time, but I know how you feel about punctuality. Those crowds are socialists revolting against the current administration. It's a front page story. I need you to go back out there and cover it. You can't be serious, Sven. I just got here and you're immediately sending me back out into that maelstrom. At least let me catch my breath. Catch your breath in your automobile. If you dilly-dally around here, you might miss the rally entirely. I need that article pronto! At least save me a croissant, please. Wait a moment. Is that a new poem? Did you write it yourself? It's unusually poetic. So Elky stiffs like me can't write. You callin' tramps dumb. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Breakfast is on me. I recommend the cafe just around the corner. For real? This ain't counterfeit? Then I took you for a stuck-up broad. I didn't write the sign, okay? Some creep. He gave it to me. Do you remember his name? Didn't tell me. I needed a flop last night. Went to the Keybroker Bridge. He woke me in the night. Thought he might have been a filthy jack roller. But he tossed me five francs. Told me to walk around Oiratagus with this sign. You could have simply taken his money and not held the sign up at all. He wasn't a jack roller, but I got a bad feeling about him. Figured I better do what he said. Do you remember any of the man's physical characteristics? Nope. Blinded me with a flashlight. Thank you kindly. Take care. Dangerous world out there, isn't it? Now to get to the rally. I can take Kazernenstrasse to avoid the traffic. What a remarkable turnout! And there are even more people arriving to join them. I'll start by taking a photo of the crowd. One more for safety. I could use more information on the rally for my article.
found a list of demands. Eight hour work day, minimum wage, reduction of the retirement age. These demands are spot on. Maybe I should pick at Sven's office until I get the same. Anna! Anna, come quick! Manu? Hello? Is something the matter? Over here! Goodness gracious. I, I take it she's... I didn't check her pulse or nothing, but look at all that blood! Go to the police station and bring Lieutenant Judith Harlan here. Snitch to the fuzz! You won't get in any trouble, I promise. Now hurry! This is an emergency! It's a banner from the rally. We are not naive. A homeless vagrant in a rally for workers' rights. Maybe, but I'm suspicious. I have some time before the police arrive. I'm going to examine the body. Cheap dress, ratty coat, and dirty socks paired with very expensive high heels. What an unusual contrast. Did the killer put the shoes on her? Great! I found Emilia's passport. Emilia Radkov, Czechoslovakia. No visa. Perhaps she was a vagrant. This mask looks like the kind disfigured soldiers got after the Great War to cover missing noses or jaws. Only the design is more unique. If the police can track down the masked designer, that might be a good lead. This is all very confusing. Maybe I should focus on the murder weapon. Her throat was slit. I wonder if there's a knife around here somewhere. Found a barber's knife. Uli, close off the street. Both sides. Anna, glad you're here. Good to see you, Judith. I was taking photos of the rally when Manu showed me this. I see. What have you found so far? Only a mess of contradictions. I'm not sure I understand this murder at all. I believe the victim was a vagrant. The killer may have put this question mark mask on her face. And likely changed her shoes. Changed her shoes? All signs point to the victim being a vagrant, except for her expensive high heels. Strange. Yes, strange indeed. It reminded me of Vilma Zoma and her surprisingly expensive dress. Looking at her sign, was she at the... Rally? Well, the sign is from the rally, so perhaps. But it's hard to say for certain. Maybe the killer put the sign here. Any identification? Yes, here's her paperwork. I believe she was in Switzerland illegally. Emilia Radkov. This is the work of our data killer. Yes, I fear you're correct. Would our serial killer artist murder a random woman off the street? I find that hard to believe. This killer is too calculating for arbitrary killings. Perhaps we're just missing her connection to the other victims. 
Have you found the murder weapon? Yes. It's an unusual choice. Here it is. A straight razor. Know any suspicious barbers? I do. Gustav? Now who's jumping to conclusions you did? Let's see what Dierk says. Any news about yesterday's fingerprints? The analysis will be ready this evening. Then I have some time to write my article about the rally. I'll wrap this up. You were very helpful here. See you this evening. Okay, time to focus. My draft is good to go. I need to attach the list of demands I found. And a photo from the rally. But which one? I'll take this to Sven. Where's my article, Anna? I see. Those quarrelsome protesters are always angling for a confrontation. Makes for interesting use. That said, I wouldn't attempt to unionize here. If you think I'm unreasonable, you should meet our publisher sometime. I'm sure I could bring him around with a few catchy chants and picket signs. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Try that and out the door you'll go. Hilda, how did the restaurant opening go? It went great. Beerburg is terrific, Anna. The sausages are tasty, and the beer mugs are enormous. How's your camera? If you need my help processing the photos... No, no. That's okay. I won't survive another round of photography lessons. Sven told me not to worry. He's sending Matt to take some photos. So Matt has time to take your photos, but is too busy to cover any of my daily. Oh! I'd better get to the police station! Dirk must have finished analyzing those prints by now. Thanks again, Anna. You are a lifesaver. Think nothing of it. Ely? Oscar, you're with me. Hurry up. You did? What? Anna, it's Gustav. The unknown fingerprint? Marie Pidget's house? It belongs to him. Meet you at Judge Meissner's. What now? I... Hey! What's this about? I'm sorry, Natalie. They're here to arrest your son. Over my dead body? No! Stop this at once! This is madness! We have a warrant for Gustav's arrest. He's accused of first-degree murder, multiple counts. First degree? Take him back to the station. Uh, Mumsy? Uli, search every room. If Gustav's the killer, there must be more evidence here. Yes, ma'am. I'll help Uli out. Okay, see you at the station. 